mother and brother, Alistair and Mark, both died from COVID just eight days apart last month. Obviously I'm broken hearted, it's like absolutely terrible. It was my whole family wiped out, there's only me left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Elaine believes her father could have contracted COVID when he was a patient at North Tyneside Hospital and tested positive when he got home. She thinks he gave COVID to Mark, who had MS. They both lived in the same house. Now she says she's been contacted by a senior doctor at Northumbria Healthcare Trust. And he says, I'm the senior doctor from um, emergency care. And uh, he says, I'm phoning because we're doing a hospital investigation <coughs> to see about the deaths of your dad and brother. And he says, so obviously he's gone home, passed it to your brother, and I have some serious apologies about that. Now, the Thunder Healthcare Trust would not confirm whether an investigation is going on into how Alistair contracted COVID, followed by his son, Mark. They also would not confirm whether a senior doctor had apologised to Elaine, but they did issue this statement. It says, one of our senior clinicians has been in touch with Elaine to offer our sincere condolences and support, as well as to help respond to her concerns. Due to patient confidentiality, we cannot comment any further. As a musician, Elaine has now written a song in tribute to her father, which she performed at the funerals this afternoon. Her music helping her as she mourns the two men closest to her. Well, the Hummer Health Trust have also told us how the COVID-19 testing process has changed during the pandemic. They go on the emergency patient system and routinely are tested for COVID on dose 1, 3 and 7. And if they have clinical symptoms or infection uh, concerns as well. And so patients are also tested if they were transferred to another uh, care environment that require testing.